So, Ms. North, when did this rekindled friendship between Ryan Lavery and Greenlee Hayward begin? Um, I don't, I don't know exactly. Give me a ballpark. Uh, I guess it would be around the time when David... The deceased? ...was charged with manipulating the books at Fusion. Which just happens to sync up with the accusations that he was responsible for Erica Kane's plane crash. I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, would you know anything about the fact that he was blackmailing Green Lane? No. No, of course you wouldn't. Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. Would you know anything about the fact that she wanted to leave her husband? Yes. For Ryan. What? No. Objection no. leading the witness. Sustained. Careful, Miss Colby. Uh, my apologies. Your Honor, permission to approach the bench. Granted. Mr. McElroy. Well, we would just like to understand the relevance of this line of questioning. Well, this line of questioning goes to the motive. Your Honor, not only am I trying to establish the fact that the defendant was being blackmailed by her husband. Allegedly. I'm like also notes. trying to establish the fact that she is still in love with her ex-husband. I'll allow it. Thank you. Ms. North, I, I'm sorry, this must be very difficult for you. I mean, having to admit that your boyfriend is being pulled back in by his ex. So I've done my whole mind, my own business thing, but seriously, this is getting ridiculous. Revenge is the only thing that keeps you going. I said can be, not is. Oh, okay, so I guess that's a really big difference. So, who do you want to get revenge against? No one. Mm, you're lying. <laughs> lying. I, I was just talking. I didn't mean anything by it. All right. I guess I should be used to it by now. To what? You shutting down, considering you do it all the time. I mean, you and me, I thought we were friends. <laughs> we are friends. Yeah, and you saved my life. And isn't that supposed to bond two people? Did it? I don't know. You know all about my family, the insanity. You basically saw me have a breakdown at the police station. Trust me, I've seen worse. Then why the minute anything personal comes up in your life, you're like, see ya. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not open about stuff. I'm sorry. With me? With anyone. Why? You wouldn't understand. But I can at least give it a shot. You have two parents who have been fighting over you your entire life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did, but it kind of screws up any chance of having a normal childhood. You know? No, I don't know. That's the whole point. I'll see you around. Don't you threaten me with my son. See, you call it threatening. I call it protecting him. You no, know, it's not too late, Marissa. You can put an end to this before someone gets hurt. Someone? Now, th that was a threat. You see, you have zero idea what you're getting yourself into. I know all I have to know, that AJ should be nowhere near this house. It is toxic. Things can get ugly. And I'm not talking about you. Who else is there? Unless you're planning on parading our son in front of a judge or using him in some other way. I would way. never do that. I'm talking about Caleb. Caleb? You don't even know him, do you? I know that he's been a good friend. But who is he really? Look, all I'm saying is if he comes after me, some ugly things could come out. So much for an anniversary truce. I'll find someone to pick up AJ's things. Happy anniversary. Don't you even want to know what's in it? Not even a little bit. So would you say that Greenlee and Ryan are close? I guess so. Are they good friends? I'd say that, yes. Hmm. And uh, 
as uh, Mr. Lavery's girlfriend, would you say that he ever put Greenlee's needs before yours? Greenlee was in trouble. She needed him. Hmm. And when she needed him, he was always there, right? That's who Ryan is. So he would never, let's say, ignore a phone call if, if she was in distress? No. Even if he was with you? It's not like that. Well, I, that just must have been really hard for you. Not really. Really, you have no problem with the fact that your boyfriend is at his ex-girlfriend's beck and call. He's a kind man, and he was worried about her. Ryan was worried about Greenlee. Yes. Hmm. And was he worried about her because of her marriage? Yes. What was going on in her marriage? David was doing what he always did. I don't know. Uh, twisting people, manipulating them. Uh, it's, it's no secret that Ryan hated David. And it's no secret that Greenlee hated David, too. Oh, objection. Sustained. You know better, Miss Colby. Thank you, Ms. North. No, you're twisting my words. No further questions. Your witness, Counselor. No questions, Your Honor. making it look like I killed David because I'm still in love with Ryan. Yes, I saw that. So why aren't you up there refuting it? Do you trust me? You know I do. Then believe me when I tell you I know what I'm doing. I am so sorry. Sorry for what? I just I feel like, like I couldn't have made Greenlee look any worse up there. Oh, come on, no, no, you, you, you did fine. I just, I thought Liza was only going to ask me about what I overheard at your place. I had no idea she was going to start in on your relationship. Yeah, relax, it's okay. Really, you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Don't, don't, don't even worry about it. Greenlee's gonna be fine. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Everyone, please be seated. You can call your next witness. Your Honor, the prosecution rests. Well, in that case, court is adjourned for the day. We'll reconvene tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. All rise. That's it? Liza's done. Yeah, and she made a pretty good case. Now it's our turn. Do you think she got the jury on her side? Maybe. For now. But it's my job to change that. And Greenlee, I am very good at my job. I'm counting on it. I'm gonna go freshen up before I have to walk through the reporters outside. Fine, I'll wait for you. I guess uh, Greenlee is a little upset that you didn't cross-examine Madison. Yes, she is. Do you think that Liza knows what we're up to? No, I don't. She's actually set our defense up for us very nicely. Yeah, she has. Remind me to send her a gift basket or something. Remind me to send you one. And thank you again for putting your neck on the chopping block for Greenlee. Greenlee's innocent? Yes. But if this thing ends up biting you in the butt, just know I'm at your disposal. Well, thank you, Jack. I appreciate it. But don't worry about me right now. Let's just keep the focus where it needs to be. On Greenlight. Thanks. Hey. Hi. Have you seen AJ? He's supposed to be with Crystal. No, she must have brought him home. Okay, cool. Marissa, uh, no. what if the... You're going to start in on me about AJ. I, I... No, I am not going to start in on anything because I don't want any of this. Yeah. Join the club. Then make it go away. How? You need to stop this custody fight with JR before it gets bloody. And, and what? Just hand AJ over to JR and let him suffer? AJ house? is JR's son. Yes, he's my son too. Colby, I, I mean, I would think that you would be the last person that I would need to explain this to. That house, it, it's not healthy. I mean, not for adults and definitely not for a child. No, I, I totally get what you're saying. But AJ is the only good, decent thing we have left in our family. With my dad gone, and Uncle Stuart's death, and now Scott, and now you... It isn't AJ's job to save your family. Look, I know JR messed up. But he loves that little boy. And he needs him. Please, Marissa.
Don't do this. That's right. One room, two twin beds. No, I, I don't have another credit card. Are you sure? Uh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll call the credit card company. Thank you. <sighs> did I make things worse for you, Marissa? Yes, you did. <sighs> See, that's why I have to get out of here. Except I have no cash, the feds have frozen all my accounts, and all my credit cards have been canceled. I am completely screwed. I told you I'd lend you money. And I told you I don't want your money. Ah. No. I'm sorry for walking in on you and Marissa. It won't happen again. Oh. Ow. Are you okay? No, I am not okay. And once the room stops spinning, I will get out of here. I made a real jerk of myself yesterday, huh? Wasn't one of your finest moments. Do I ever even have those? Well, the fact that I'm sitting here, breathing, living. I'd say, yeah, you do. And thanks again for not telling Marissa why Scott did what he did. It's not my place. Still, you and me in bed again wouldn't go over too well in AJ's custody case. Marissa will never find out for me. You know, if you're still having a tough time finding a place to stay, you can hang here another night. Really? Just stick to the gatehouse. Thanks. I am so sorry. Don't be. The last thing I wanted was to hurt your case. I, I hope you believe that. Liza's a master at twisting the truth. Oh, here we are at your murder trial, and you're out here making me feel better. Trust me, I could yell at you if you'd like. I just, I just wasn't prepared for all those questions, you know? And, and when she came at me about you and Ryan, it's... If I made things worse for you... I'm not really sure that things could get worse at this point, actually, so... Well, I hope you beat this. I really do. Thank you. Hey. Boys allowed at this uh, meeting? Uh, if the boy is you. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get some water. Anyone need anything? I'm fine. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So, uh, how are you holding up? Truth? Always. I'd be better if you weren't here. What are you talking about? How do you think this looks, Ryan? My ex-fiance, ex-husband, ex-love of my life sitting behind me, supporting me day in, day out? We're giving the jury the wrong idea. Greenland. No, no, we need to be smart about this. From here on out, you stay away from the trial. 